Hi. Um, Happy New Year. Um, well, thank, thank you for being there. Um, I'm going to do, I'd like to do two things for you. Um, and uh, the first one is going to be um, North, uh, the singing saw, this fellow right here, um, <clears throat> who's been with me for um, most, much of my, my grown up life. Uh, he sang on a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of records. Um, not that he has a big head about it or anything. That, and he's, um, he's sung to you all many times. Um, and uh, North is going to start things off, I think, by singing uh, Auld Lang Syne. Um, I don't know in what key, but... I'm going to try and do this so that you can see all of North. Let's see. That's kind of good. All right. Um, uh, <laughs> all right. Let's see. So that was, uh, that was North, um, and uh, I'll let him take a bow here. This, this is a, yes, very low uh, production value, production here. Um, <laughs> uh, and um, so now, uh, I guess um, what I'm going to try and do is uh, I'm going to attempt to sing a song for you, uh, and hopefully I won't make any mistakes. Um, if I do make mistakes, then you'll know that this is real. So, and um, that I'm, I'm actually here and not a robot. Uh, uh, yes, okay, so um, let's see if uh, I can remember all of this song. <clears throat> I mean, how to play it. I remember the song, but the, the chords. Okay.
Okay, so there was, you, you'll see there was an edit there because I already completely messed it up. Uh, this time, I think I, can, I figured it out. I had to stop because I couldn't remember at all like how the keyboard part went. Uh, so okay, the story that I want to tell you is about my mom. Uh, my, um, my mother and I celebrated Christmas uh, together uh, often at one point with my stepfather. My, my dad um, celebrated the Jewish holidays of this family, um, my parents weren't together, um, but decorating the Christmas tree with my mom was actually one of the more terrifying experiences from my childhood every year because um, my mom would get so tense uh, decorating the tree every single year um, and that at some point she'd invariably end up screaming um, and it wasn't it wasn't her fault. I think it's because of things that happened to her when she was little. Her dad died when she was really young, and 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 I know. I think she just she just wanted to make it um, really nice. And I think the tension of wanting to make it so nice and to do so well, or for it to be so good, just grew and grew until it kind of took over both of us, and it would just always lead to disaster. Um, and so. It was always very stressful uh, and tense doing this. And so this year um, that we took out the ornaments, there were these ornaments in, in a box uh, that my mom had and uh, she would take out the, 
the box and, and open it up every year. And um, there was, um, I remember I tried to put on the first ornament and I couldn't put it on a, the tree. Like I couldn't get it on. And um, I'd already, oh, I'd already spilled a bunch of water from the Christmas tree onto the um, the skirt, you call it, the Christmas tree skirt was soaked and there was all these pine needles that had already fallen off. And so I was already in trouble or I was already really nervous that I was going to be in trouble. And I was really tense and, and, and I, I was so tense that I couldn't get this ornament on the tree and it was like the first ornament it was like the very first thing that we'd done and <laughs> so I'm trying to put it on the tree and I can't and it was like in a, it was like in a dream it's like totally like in a dream when you can't do something and you can't understand why you can't do it and you just keep trying but you can't do it and I I was and I remember my mom took the, the ornament from me and she grabbed it and now I knew I was in trouble and, and she started trying to put it on, and then I saw that she couldn't put it on. She was standing on a chair, and she was trying to put it on, and she couldn't. And then the next thought that I remember went through my head was, I broke it. It's broken, and it was a really nice one. It was like this really nice glass ornament, and it was broken, and, 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 and it wouldn't go on the tree anymore, and it was my fault, but it was... Do you know how when um, it's really hot outside, and you look through the air, and you see the air, and you see the waves in the air? It was doing that it was sort of floating and and I couldn't I was looking at my hands um because I was trying to redeem myself I'd taken out a bunch more ornaments and I was trying to put them on really fast and try to make it happen really good and 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 they were floating too like they were starting to float the next thing I realized because I was barefoot was that I couldn't feel the carpet underneath my feet anymore I, I actually, I felt the cool air on my feet, and I was floating. I saw, I looked at, my mom had been on a chair, She, and she wasn't on the chair anymore, and we were uh, floating, and, and I could feel nothing but this incredible floating feeling and I, I, all of the, the, the fear and the tension that I'd been feeling was, was gone and I looked at my mother and we gave each other this look that expressed something you just, you can't express in words. But I knew that she was feeling it too and I knew that it was okay. And she looked beautiful. We were just floating with all the ornaments around the tree and we couldn't feel feelings like hunger and I know we couldn't because um, it was, I guess, after New Year. Um, it was after New Year when we came down and when we finally came down, we I think we knew uh, because we have had this feeling, we can start anew. Bye.